hi guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl still at the end so if you are new you're highly welcome please do well to click the subscribe or the follow button that you join the squad so today i'm bringing out a new thing i wear glasses right so today i would say let me do makeup like i usually do when i'm wearing glasses if you something you want to please do keep on watching so the area that will give the problem is down there those two sides and where your glasses rest see you take note on these places that you know what to avoid so i'm always starting off with my moisturizer moisturize my whole face go in with my primer i rub it on my face go in with my mattifying primer after the mattifying primer i go in with my mattifying foundation see everything mattifying today so i blend my foundation two pumps like i usually do blend it all over my face i try to avoid that area by my nose that the glasses always rest for my concealer i will not be using the flawless ivy instead i will go in with the legal pro conceal in the shade fawn because flawless always settles you know when you touch it even though when you set it it always settles but the la girl always dries off i think it's matte and flawless it's dewy so i apply just by my nose and a little bit on my eye then blend it out for my the bridge of my nose i don't bring it down like i usually do i'm trying to avoid that area that the glass will rest like i said under my eyes i just blend in where my dark circle is to cover my dark circles and just this area so that to bring out this shine just that area not taking it downward you guys know me i will have to blush so i put a little amount of blush not too much for my setting powder i'm going with this and um, flawless ivy and I'm setting all the areas I usually set. I'm setting with powder. It will still bring out that brightness. For my contour, when I'm doing this and um, when I'm wearing glasses, I don't go in with liquid contour. I just use powdered contour. When I'm wearing glasses too, I usually like my look to be a little bit natural. So I fill in my brows instead of drawing the brows I fill it in draw hair like trans upward trying to mimic my natural brows so I now contour my nose you guys see right I'm just doing here that area on my eyes then my nose like the ending of my nose not too much for my going in with the um concealer now for my eyeshadow base and this thing i'll be like oh you're wearing glasses nobody will see your eyeshadow it's a lie people are still seeing it started off with that contour shade so that when first start my contour then go in with this brown shade and i like it when i'm wearing my glasses I want to have this sophisticated look, you know. Not like I have a pickup on. Then I go in with that orange as my transition color. Not like I want to look like a pickup under my glasses, like so many colors. I want to be sophisticated for that. I'm using that as my main color. Then blend everything in go back with my liner liquid liner i'm not drawing out any dramatic line but because i'm applying lashes i have to make out this outline i smoke out my under eye i don't always touch my waterline on this one because you know and so it always come out so i'm always trying to avoid so i'll not make a mess later for my lashes see it's very short because I don't want it to interfere when I wear the glasses. If I had long lashes, I could just use mascara and I'm okay. But 
my lashes are really short so i have to use artificial lashes then go in with my face powder apply it all over my face guys if you have like everything matte you should use it because it will stay longer you know it will not start creasing with your glasses on my spray to kiss beauty we have a matte setting spray use it for my lips i'm using those two colors to ombre just because i'm wearing glasses you know me my lips will not be dramatic no i'm going in with the power going back with my liquid blush so guys this is me on glasses i want you seeing the the shadow aren't you seeing that area that i highlighted Aren't you seeing my contour and my blush? You see how it's coming out right? So I hope you learned something from today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give your girl a big thumbs up. Share your thought. How you